Hi everyone, this is Isabel the Shabby Hippie. I hope everyone is doing well and I certainly hope you can hear me uh, because I had to sit down today. <laughs> I can't stand up to do the video because I have a pinched nerve. But yes, I am here today to um, do a VR for my friend Crystal from Vividly on Paper here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, she is having her second uh, yearly, oh gosh, yearly bag challenge, altered, altered bag challenge. Sorry, I, I wasn't, I didn't know her last year. Um, I've only known her for a few months here on YouTube and I've taken a liking to her because she is just so sweet. Um, but anyway, she is hosting uh, a second yearly um, bag challenge uh, where she just wants you to um, alter a bag or make a bag if you don't have one to alter and then just put anything in it um, it could just be a dollar store item or it could be something that you make um, and then and then just send it to her um, the it has to be postmarked by the 25th of this month which is august august 25th 2022 um she will do the drawing i believe she said in the beginning of september you would have to go back onto her channel and verify what i'm telling you because um like i've said before i can't remember things very well <laughs> um so um, she also would like you to um, provide your information. Um, I'm guessing, and I, I probably she probably said it, but again, I can't remember everything. I'm guessing it's just your um, your name and your like YouTube channel if you have a channel, uh, IG account, stuff like that, um, and then. Oh, also, she has a separate, uh, she will do a separate uh, drawing, She'll like a pool that she's doing for um, people that do either a VR for her or you make a post on Instagram or Facebook um, and you let her know um, about this. It, the, the post would have to be regarding, obviously, this challenge and then you let her know. Um, I will put her um, channel link below and so if you don't know her and you'd like to pay her a visit she's a very sweet girl uh, very talented she does a lot of um, paper projects um, swaps uh, well she doesn't do swaps I believe she I don't know does she do swaps oh my gosh I'm sorry Crystal I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, she does do a lot of beautiful paper projects, um, embellishments and things. Um, so um, pay her a visit. She's so sweet. And yeah, with no further ado, Crystal, if you don't want to see what you're going to get, please don't look from this moment on. Okay, girl? Love you. So, um, so this is what I made for Crystal. And I hope she likes it. And um, so I'm going to move this to the side here and then so crystal don't look <laughs> so <laughs> I kept it simple okay uh, I just made this uh, I uh, altered a little uh, craft glassine bag and then um, I used scrap of paper um, these are two different ones from the same pack and then um, I used a cardstock so let me see here so then I added this uh, lace trim and this pearl trim on the top I'm not sure if you can see that I'm sorry we have like an overcast day where the Sun comes and goes and it's driving me crazy with the shadows so I, I didn't I tried different ways and so you're gonna get a shadow regardless I'm sorry um, but I really needed to get this out um, this is some of that vintage lace that I've been using lately and I just added a little enamel dot in, on the um, center of that flower and then these are some words from 
Adamo prints on Etsy and I cut them out and then I uh, backed them with some packaging paper and okay so then we're gonna go in um, and this is what I created for her okay now you don't have to get elaborate or anything I just like making this so this this is like my thing and then I just um, here's a little card that I'm sending uh, with my information um, and then this is a little journal that I made for her oh I forgot to stamp it again I gotta stamp that hopefully I won't forget um, and then this is some uh, seam binding that I had um, dyed myself and then crinkled it so we're gonna get in here I use this uh, pretty uh, pink flower trim there Hopefully you can see this and then this is scrapbook paper um, this is what it looks like inside I've used different things from different people um, there is a lot I would say of um, Lena junk journal craft Lena I think I used a lot of her little things in here but or her her ephemeras but there are more things so okay this is um, an old book page actual book page um, then uh, this here is a little like uh, old picture um, printable this is from Ruby and Rose um, this is from Janie B and then this I can't remember where, <laughs> where it's from sorry uh, gosh I don't know if you can even see um, this the the blue pocket is from Sweet Pea Curiosities enjoy the present is from Adamo prints this little oval thing here is from Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, and then there is some green um, cheesecloth that I had dyed a long time ago. This is from another Etsy place that I can't remember the name right now. And then I just uh, backed it with a paper doily and a piece of coffee dyed paper. And then this is scrapbook paper. This is scrapbook paper, and then that's shabby dabby do da up there. I think mostly everything is from um, shabby dabby do da and junk journal craftlina. And then this here, these three things are from shabby dabby do da. This just says moments in case you can't see it. Moments, and then so of course I created a little tuck spot there. Um, this is just some um, tracing paper that I just, you know, painted on randomly. Um, there are two trims here. There's a lace trim and then there's this other type of trim that I laid on top. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can see it. Um, okay, so let me think here. This is Janie B journals I believe this is either my porch prints or line dot arrow oh gosh I can't remember and then the words again are from Adamo prints and then again I created a little tuck there this is scrapbook paper um, this is I'm pretty sure from Lena John journal craft Lena this uh, I can't remember <laughs> it could be from Sweet Pea Curiosities but I cannot promise you that um, so that's just a little fairy up there oh my goodness just, oh, I feel like I'm so far away from the camera because I'm sitting um, this is uh, from Junk Journal Craft Lena this is more scrapbook paper um, this here when you turn this it's it's a flip so she can actually add four photos in here one two three and four 
so she can add four photos in here um, this is from um, an old book which is in a different language that I do not know but it's like a, some type of measurements book or something like that uh, I believe this is from Junk Journal Craftlina and then I believe this is from Sweet Pea Curiosities it's like a little um, library card oh lordy 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 I hope everyone's doing okay with this heat well I didn't know where you're at but I think just about everyone has heat <laughs> right now um, and then this is the center spread I used um, a square doily and then this is from Janie B journals and I just added a little bit of embroidery floss there and then this I can't remember where it's from and uh, I think yeah I'm not really sure I think these two might be from junk journal craftlina but i cannot promise you that it just says uh cold cream okay and then this is like a little tiny receipt um uh this is from this little polaroid here it's really pretty is from a shop on etsy boho Oh gosh, it's something with boho. I'll see if I could link it below, or if you have any questions, if I forget to link it, um, you can put it. You can ask me in the description box. In the, I'm sorry, in the comments, and I will let you know. Uh, this is Janie B, and then I just I only glued it on the center, so that you know there's a little bit of dimension there. Uh, this is uh, another piece of scrapbook paper and then there's um, this is I'm pretty sure from my porch prints and I just fussy cut it out just like the other one I had fussy cut out and added some tool some pink tool and then there's a little bit of that lace again on the edge and that other trim I don't know if you can see. Uh, this I'm pretty sure is from Junk Journal Craft Lena. And this is scrapbook paper again. And again, she's got the same option of uh, putting four pictures on here. So one, two, three, four. She could obviously put pictures here as well, but this is just plain paper, so um, it might buckle a little bit um, so it's yeah I didn't do a lot because I don't have a lot of time and I didn't want to make it too big because I do have other things to do and I'm way behind so uh, this is um, a five slot no I don't know how many slot one two three four five six slots a pocket that I made myself um, and oh this here oh gosh I don't know where this the numbers from but this here is one of Lena's washi tapes from junk journal craft Lena uh, this I believe is from Lena as well this one is from sweet pea curiosities this one is from Lena Uh, this one is from that boho store really pretty um, come on we can get there okay then this one is from Pam at the paper outpost uh, let's see here this one I'm not sure I'm not sure where this is from And this one, I'll, I'll fix them later. This one is from 
Sweet Pea Curiosities. And this one is from Sweet Pea Curiosities. Wait, this way, I think. <laughs> and... Uh, help. Okay, and then I'll, I'll fix them a little later. And then we have a photo spot here. She put a photo there. This is some handmade paper. And then it could tuck in here. She could actually put the photo there as well. Um, and then this is the back cover. Uh, it's got a side pocket with this pretty little envelope from Shabby Dabby Duda. And I did not seal it because if she wants to use it for journaling, she could journal inside and then if she wants to seal it up, she can do that herself. So, um, and then obviously put something in there. This here is also from Shabby Dabby Duda from, I believe the same kit as this one. And then this is from, I want to say this is from G, one of G Kerr's freebies, sorry, but I'm not 100% sure. And then this pink label here is from Junk Journal Craft Lena. The clock, I can't remember. It could be from her as well, or it could be from Shabby Dabby Duda. I honestly can't remember. And then this uh, strip here, which is a belly band for this, is from um, Junk Journal Craft Lena. And that's it. And then this is the back. So, Crystal, I hope you like it, honey. Um, I wish I could have done more for you, uh, but again, I am a little compromised with time. So, um, that is it, everyone. I hope you all like my share. Please visit Crystal uh, at Vividly on Paper. I will leave her link below. Um, and you all have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your lovely comments. Thank you for your prayers for my daughter and for my family. Uh, she's got two more months to go if everything goes okay. Um, she's still pretty sick, but um, at least they did take away or they did remove the stent from her kidneys. But she's always vomiting and yeah it's just it's a mess but she can't go out anywhere she can't do anything she hasn't even been able to do all of her testing because every time she goes she tries to go out she she can't she just can't so she basically she's bedridden and um we're hoping for the best and praying for the best we believe in god and god is our strength and we love him so thank you all for all your prayers um I love you all, and I will see you guys hopefully very soon. Yes, take care. Bye-bye.